Another seed treatment that can be used to prevent the introduction of plant pathogens into a crop is the chlorine bleach treatment. This is a simple treatment that will kill bacterial, fungal, and viral pathogens that are associated with the seed coat. However, it will not eliminate those pathogens that get inside the seed. This treatment can be used for large seeded vegetables such as cantaloupe, watermelon, and squash. It can also be used to treat fungicide treated seed. However, similar to the hot water treatment, you must reapply the fungicide following the treatment. So let's get started. This is a simple treatment that doesn't require expensive equipment to treat your seed. To get started, you want to have a glass measuring cup such as this one shown here. Chlorine bleach treatment will not damage your seed. However, you want to pay special attention to how you prepare the chlorine bleach solution. You want to make sure that you are using the regular concentrated formulation of Clorox and not the splash less formulation. To start, we're going to add one part Clorox to our beaker. In this case, I'm going to prepare I'm going to prepare one and a quarter cups. So I would like one quarter cup of Clorox. And then four parts water. Then you add one drop of detergent, or you can add tween if you like. The purpose of adding the detergent is to make sure that the Clorox is uniformly dispersed over the seed. You never want to reuse your Clorox solution, so I always prepare more volume than I will need. I'm going to pour a small amount into another container, either a beaker or another glass. And today I'm going to treat cucumber seeds. The ratio of seed to solution should be one pound to one gallon. Simply pour your seeds directly into your Clorox solution and then you want to stir them for one minute. After one minute, you want to rinse the seed under running cold water. For this, you can use a, a simple kitchen, kitchen sieve. Simply pour the seeds into the colander and then rinse them for cold, under cold water, moving it around for five minutes. You want to make sure that all of the Clorox is off the seed. The final step is to dry the seed on a seed rack. Again, you can use the same seed racks that were used for the hot water treatment. Tap off, tap out your seeds onto your drying rack and make sure that they're in a uniform layer. Dry the seeds completely before you put them in your seed packet. Using a simple seed, brown seed packet, you can add your seeds once they are dry. Again, you wanna label your seed packet with the variety and the Clorox treatment and your date. Make sure that you use your Clorox treated seed within two weeks. Similar to hot water treatment, Clorox bleach treatment can damage poor quality or old seed. Therefore, you should always pre-treat a small sample of your seed and test the germination to make sure that the seed is not damaged from the Clorox treatment. The formula for calculating how to determine the percent germination 
can be found in your regional vegetable production guides or in the fact sheet shown here. You are now ready to plant your cucumber seeds.